We are officially in the desert now. Yay! So it's uh, just afternoon, or right around noon local time. It's 110 degrees outside. Let's get on with this review. I am driving a 2016 Acer by 4. It is obviously a gas because that's all I've been getting lately is these Ford V10s. Uh, it's about 30, it's under 31 feet. I think it's like about close to 30 feet actually. And uh, it's not that bad actually. I don't mind it so much. I do not like the gas, but this small little motor hole that's not as bad. Not as many butterfly parts for this one. It takes a lot more butterfly parts to make this thing down to. And it does not handle well in the wind because it's a large box. So let's talk a little bit about it. The layout, I love it. I really like this layout because this whole side on the driver's side, the whole thing just slides right out if you have crap on a room when you're part in your camping. Even though it slides out, and when you look here, you see this thing in the way. It looks like, oh my god, I can't get through. But obviously, there's a door there. You can get through. It takes you into the bathroom. The bathroom is an easy walk through straight to the bedroom. So the wife can actually sit back there in the bedroom in some privacy, some privacy, and relax while I'm up here driving. Quality-wise, it seems that Thor may have stepped up their game for quality because there's not nearly the number of rattles and shakes and noises in this motorhome that I've seen in others. We do have this separation in the dinette while this wind is kicking up. See, I'm not sure why this is doing it. I tried to fix it a few times and it popped right back out. That will be fixed, I'm sure, but what is it? It's not a very expensive Class A. Now, if I were to buy a Class A, if I were looking at one, this would be the one I want because it's small and it gets reasonably it well, gets the same gas miles as every other Class A. But it has a nice walkthrough plan that I like because you know I'm not much into parking for very long. I like to drive. Now, if you look here, I would. I would personally take out the bunk beds and put something else. I don't know what other floor plans they have, but I don't like bunk beds. I don't need them. I don't plan on traveling with a bunch of kids. Overall, I like this motorhome. I never thought I'd say that about a gas guzzling Thor, of all things. But I do not like the Thor, and I definitely don't like the gas. Now, if there were a way to have this motorhome and a diesel pusher, I would buy it in an RV. I don't know if they do. I haven't looked. You tell me if they have it or not. Or you can tell me other floor plans and what your opinion is of this motor. So in summary, it's a good one. I like it. It's good for a small family or it's good for a couple or a single person. It's a really nice little motor home. I, you could live in this thing quite easy. Great for camping, I would assume. I like road trips, so this would be a great road trip to vehicle. I've driven it all the way through Cal into California, down Route 66, delivered into Southern California tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to be kind of disappointed to give it away. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Did you know that if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or like my Facebook page, that you will know more information about what I'm doing up to date? The videos I put up are not real time. We're not even close because I have to record them and then I want to edit them to make them look good for you. And I hope you like them. It seems you do. And then post them up. And I only want to post videos every Tuesday so these videos get stacked up, which is kind of my plan. Which also means that you don't get exactly where I'm at. So if you want to know exactly where I'm at, like my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter or Follow me on Instagram. That's all I've got for this review. Again, I like it. If you're looking for a small little gas one, definitely want to look at 2016 Ace by Four. Hey, what did you think about this video? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you really liked it, share it everywhere. If you'd like to see new videos when they come out or join an awesome growing community, click the subscribe button. What? You don't see a subscribe button? then come on over and watch the video on YouTube and check out our channel.
How about seeing more travel info or getting sneak peeks at what we're up to? Just like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. We look forward to hearing from you. And just in case I didn't say it before, safe travels.